welcome back to this series of conversations with leaders in cloud. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading, and joining me now is Samit Banerjee, Division President of Amdocs Cloud Operation Services. Samit, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure, Terry. Uh, with regard to cloud, let's let's start by talking about what are some of the features that are critical for successful cloud operations. See, based on uh, my understanding with the customers that we are operating with uh, at a global space, I see one of the most important areas is the infra management part of it, and how much of automation can be done over there. And then, of course, uh, when we talk about infra, uh, it's not like the on-premise world, and therefore mapping the assets and managing those infra aspects is becoming very, very important and critical for the uh, operators. And then uh, each one of the operators are now trying to find out how can they migrate to the cloud. So every one of them are looking for migration at scale because it's not about one or two applications. It's talking about hundreds of applications and we are doing that for some of our big customers so we can understand how important is that. Um, then comes the big topic of security, because what people used to understand in on-premise about security is something completely different in the cloud space. So uh, this is another important area to focus on. And uh, last but not the least is uh, FinOps. Uh, what is very important is how do we manage the cost aspect of being in the cloud? And that's where FinOps tools, their utilization and their constant evolution is going to play a critical success role for the cloud operations. Well, thanks for raising the issue of, of, of management. Um, we're curious how easily do cloud management tools and systems map to existing carriers and service providers own management systems. Can, can you help us understand that better? Yeah, see, the one of the main things to be considered is that nobody's becoming full-fledged cloud on day one. So there is a space for remaining a hybrid operations for a pretty long period of time. And, and the large enterprises, the kind of footprint that they have with their applications, cutting across all the different kinds of work that they're doing, uh, they have to be hybrid for some period of time. So now that brings into play that what kind of platforms are they using? And, and how those platforms can be utilized for on-premise related activities, as well as what they want to use it for the cloud. So the management tools and the systems that one has to use has to cater to both. It cannot be one or the other. So, and you will not have a scenario like, let's say you want to do monitoring of your systems, which is so critical to make sure everything is running fine. You are not having any lags, if you have any issues that you should get the right alerts at the right point of time and so on. So typically you should have a monitoring kind of a tool which is catering to both the, both the worlds. It takes care of all your applications that are running in the cloud as much as they are running in on-premise. And same way you should have all the other tools which are checking your parameters of the health of the system and constantly reporting back to you, keeping in mind the hybrid environment and not only cloud. So that's how I feel we should evolve towards the management tools and the mapping of the systems that you have in the cloud space along with your on-premise space. Obviously no two carriers or service providers have the same management system set up. So this is necessarily complex and there's not really a template that can be used. It, it's it's one by one with customers then, is that is that what I'm hearing? Yes, yes, you are right. Uh, because uh, it also depends on the customers on how they are starting their cloud journey. What kind of applications are they moving to the cloud? And depending on that, they would be utilizing their capabilities and their management mechanisms around it. Uh, some of them are starting with a big transformation and some of them are starting with just moving the pure old legacy applications which are running in mainframe kind of environment, just move them off to the cloud. Some of them are looking at what's their primary cost in the data centers and start to identify those applications and start to move them to the cloud. So it is uh, different kinds of strategies that the operators are taking or the enterprises are taking. And that is determining what kind of action to take place. Sam, what are some of the challenges that you see 
communication service providers running into as they as they move and operate their applications uh, on the cloud? Yeah, this is a brilliant question because I see this happening across all the enterprises almost. Uh, and there are a variety of them. But if I were to just pick up one or two, uh, that would be primarily uh, something to do with cloud security. So people are very concerned. And, and I think if you open up all the technology news today, you will find out that many, many companies across the world, even the tier one, tier one graded companies are also facing the security issues every day, every other day. And some of them are reported and some of them are not. But uh, this is an issue that each one of the enterprises are handling. So I feel as more and more enterprises move to the cloud, they have to spend a lot of time to understand how are they going to take care of security in the cloud. And this is something which is a challenging topic as we keep moving forward. We have seen it happening even in the cloud space. So this is something that uh, enterprises have to pay a lot of attention, a lot of investment. The other one is about this whole notion that my bills will reduce when I go to the cloud. And that's not really happening in many cases. So the enterprises are in some cases struggling to find out that how am I going to reduce my bills, which I was promised it mm -hmm. will go down once I'm going to go into the cloud. And that's what I was mentioning initially about the FinOps tools. How do we have the right FinOps tools to tell me what am I doing? What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? And that leads to another aspect, which is about the wastage that can one can do in the cloud resources that you are blocking. So this is again something a uh, lot of enterprises are struggling because when you say that I have blocked cloud resources, it's not like one department. There are multiple departments who are utilizing those kind of resources. So how do you decide who should get what and whether you are wasting it, not wasting it, are you using it in the peak time, off peak time, weekends, weekdays, there's a whole lot of management that comes into play. So, so the enterprises are learning as and when they are moving forward in this journey of the cloud, they're learning as, as they go by and decide on how to adjust towards the security, cost, uh, financial management, wastage, and, and controlling the wastage and so on and so forth. So these are some of the challenges that they are facing. Sam, let, let's close out by talking a bit about cloud waste. First of all, what, what is cloud waste and how does it impact service providers? Yeah, so um, there was a recent report that came out from Plexera and, and there it was uh, provided along with a lot of data that cloud waste is a definite issue. There was a data point that was shared that at an average, there is almost about 13% of cloud waste taking place across large organizations. And you can immediately correlate that to the uh, money aspect of it. So how much of dollars uh, these enterprises are losing out in this process. Now, cloud waste is going down because people are becoming more and more active about it. They are using the tools. The technology is there. I mean, of course, again, the technology is not fully evolved, but it is constantly evolving itself to help you, to help you as a, as an operator who is using cloud and, and therefore see how you can optimize on this, how you can take the recommendations that these tools are giving you in order to improve your uh, cloud waste scenario that you are facing today. So it's a real issue. It is going down, tools are there, and we need to take advantage of the tools and the technologies. And these tools and technologies will constantly evolve. So we need to take advantage of that as well. Great perspectives on the issues facing carriers and communication service providers. Samit, thanks so much for joining us for this talk today in Leaders in Cloud. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Terry. Thank you very much. We've been talking with Samit Banerjee of Amdocs. This has been Terry Sweeney with Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this series of conversations around Leaders in Cloud, and we'll see you next time.